Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Man of War, and I am here to make a little announcement. Announcement the right word? Maybe? I guess I discovered something today. I was reinstalling Desura because I was planning to play a certain game on there called uh, Transphoria. That was a free-to-play co-op horror game, which I was going to play for Fright Nights with Jay and Mel. So, I'm looking through these games, and there are a number, and I do mean number, of indie games that I have never played and I have never even fucking heard of. So, I feel it's my job, as a commentator, to check out those indie games and see what they're really, really about. So, I will commemorate that by making a new series. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably gonna say, oh, but you already started a new series. You started Fright Nights with Jay and Mel. Yes, but I can have another series. That's how shit works. Sorry, I love you, I love you all. Anyways, the first one I come across is a very interesting little title. It's called MTB Free Ride. It is a mountain biking simulator. You can make a biking simulator 2013, Joe 2014, what the fuck ever. This game, this game caught my attention because it actually looked really pretty. Physics engine. It's a physics engine game. Now, funny thing is, I'm going to show you a picture. Look at this fucking description. You look at the description, what's the first fucking line you read? Hardcore, first person, downhill, biking simulator, DH, downhill. I underestimated that line. I underestimated it deeply. And you're going to see why. Alright, let's go to the game. And here we are with the game. And I fucking died. Wow. Incredible. I died all fucking ready. I didn't even do anything. Now, like I said, this is a physics engine game. Do you see that fucking drop? When they said hardcore, they meant fucking hardcore. See that? See that shit? See that shit? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah. You play Trials HD? This is fucking first person Trials HD. Okay? That is enough that has to be said about this game. Now, the thing is, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game by any means. It's actually pretty fun. I enjoyed it. I played maybe 20, 25 minutes of it. I enjoyed those 20 minutes. Those were good 20 minutes spent. Because not only do you have these bikes, you have different levels too. You have a main start, you have a highway, you have a hill, you have the bigger you have this bigger drop, you have a forest, and you have dirt flats. Here is the main start. Basically, this is where you start. I didn't get through any of these, so I hope you realize that. I am taking this as slow as I fucking possibly can, and I am speeding up like a motherfucker. Oh shit, I am going to die. I am going to fucking- Oh, hello, I did not die. See, it takes a lot of control for this. Just like a real fucking bike. Ah! By the way, I'm sorry if this contains a lot of fucks. Because I give a lot of fucks about this game. I like it. I like this game. Anyways. I forgot to mention. New, new name for the series? For this series, it's going to be called Jay Goes Indie. Because it's all about me going, hunting down these indie games to see what they're all about. And seeing if they're good or not. You know, seeing the different variations between people's projects. And frankly, I think it's going to be one hell of an adventure. Not an adventure like that. Because I don't want to fucking break my neck. Anyway, there, there honestly isn't much to this game. Besides, you know, you ride the bike, you die. You ride the bike again, you maybe get a little farther, you die again. Kind of like that. Not much. Different levels. Same bike. The controls are simple, though. But, 
they don't they don't really give you any insight of which controls to use because there are two types of controls you can use. And there's two different control schemes too. You have the W, A, S, and D buttons, which is usually the nominal, you know, button for control in a PC game. Not this one. This one uses which I've been using a long time. The arrow keys and the left control and left alt. Which I don't even fucking know what it does. What the hell? See, I don't Wow, that's gotta hurt. Ow. Anyways, I don't even I don't know what the left control alt and alt buttons even do for this stupid bike. So I just go I just go with it. Wow. Man, you gotta love that physics. Okay. Oh! Another thing. You are perfectly allowed to go off the course. Not only that, you can actually get off the bike and explore the world around you if you don't if you don't particularly feel like riding the bike. See? I'm going completely off the course here, and oh shit, that's a fucking tree. Anyways, there you have it. That's my little review of MTB Free Ride. If you want to try this out in this game out for yourself, I'll put the download links in the description. There you have it. First episode of Jago's Indie. Complete. After I do this last jump, I will be signing off and paying to do other things. Alright, I'm about to go fucking Super Saiyan off this goddamn ledge. I missed. Fuck. Anyways, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.